curvy and shit. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, guys? This week, this Friday, is Friday the 13th. Ooh. A very special holiday. So, in celebration of that, we decided to make today's video spooky. We are going to do what, like, we've been doing quite a while. Quite a lot, I mean, not a while. <laughs> Same thing. Months. We are going to be reading fanfic. But the stars of this fanfic is slashers from like four movies. I was gonna get all dressed up and stuff, but I crippled myself. I'm pretty mm -hmm. icy in my knee with some tots. We're not gonna talk about it though. <laughs> <laughs> you can make up a story. I. She was saving a puppy. From yeah. Ran over. That's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> Same wavelength right We were here. both there. It obviously <laughs> happened. I guess I should pull the stories so, out on the reader. Yes. The reader. Now, Rita. Ooh, we're doing not safe for work day. I didn't know what that meant. Not safe for work. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we're doing this one titled Jason and SFW, which we should probably add that into the title. Okay, people. <laughs> so Jason Voorhees from Friday the 13th? Yes. Hey, you've been living with Jason for a while now. Ever since that night, you came back to Crystal Lake and Jason found you. You both quickly became comfortable in domestic bliss. You tended to the cabin, making it more homey. Well, thank God it needed it. <laughs> <laughs> While Jason went out to patrol the campgrounds, you'd go to work and come back home. It was weird how fast you considered the cozy cabin home. A lot of it had to do with him. He made it home and he was well aware that he was the reason he considered it home. Jason doesn't sleep. You found that out after long nights of singing and writing. There's a lot of things Jason doesn't do anymore because he is dead. <laughs> R.I.P. <laughs> yeah. It was extremely hard to actually accept that he was dead because he was right there in front of you breathing, singing, and walking around. It took some adjusting, but the colder months spent in the cabin together asking all the questions the both of you could think of really strengthened that bond you shared years ago. It was a cold February night <laughs> that led Jason to admitting how he truly felt. <laughs> February will do that to you, man. You were freezing, the fireplace is going, and the small electric heater you had bought was on full blast, yet you lay in the small bed shivering, bundled up in all the blankets you could find in the cabin. Jason, being the big love he is, knew he couldn't let you suffer the cold anymore and nudged you over. Climbing into the small bed, he got into the covers with you, pulling you t in tight to him. He's dead, he wouldn't be warm. No, he wouldn't. <laughs> he's not helping you. <laughs> he's like, he's like, Jack, no, he's not. He's like Jack Torrance at the end of The Shining, just in the snow. <laughs> Despite being dead, Jason was always warm. Oh, okay. Sure, science. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And tonight he was even warmer than normal. <laughs> well, breaking the science rules, man. <laughs> Your hands slowly found their way, slipping under his shirt to the warmth of his belly. He shivered and let out a breathy chuckle. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, I can't wait to hear what she does. <laughs> Your hands are always cold, and Jason's always lets you put them under his shirt. Or in his lap to warm them up. He wrapped his big arms around your tiny, in-comparison frame, pulling you in tighter. You felt his hockey mask press against the top his of what? your head. <laughs> In a light bag. His hockey mask. Oh. He's still wearing his hockey mask. And he used it to peck her on the head. Science. He squeezed you shiver squeeze did it. He squeezed you shivering as he did so. You couldn't help but feel his member harden on against your stomach. Oh. God, it was massive. <laughs> you could have made me keep my Stop. below your belly button to underneath your breasts. <laughs> you <What? turn. laughs> so it's like... <laughs> What's up? My knee is so cold. That was, that was so cold. <laughs> Maybe it'll just numb my leg and I won't feel pain anymore. We all hope that. <laughs> you turn 
wearing bright red, noticing that. Mm -hmm. Jason and you may love each other, but it hasn't reached that level. Yet, that is. Yet, that is. Okay. You decided to test it out. Maybe Jason did want to take things further, and you couldn't imagine your life with anyone else. You took your hands away from his shirt and placed them at the corners of his jaw and earlobes. The only part of his left face exposed from the mask. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you really got shit, that's true, man. <laughs> you could feel the flush on Jason's face and see him avert his eyes. Jason, I love you. <clears throat> his attention snapped right back to you. Bright blue eyes, wide and teary. He raised a hand to eye level to you and signed. I love you too. Signed. Signed. Yeah, like... I don't know what two is. <laughs> so I'm like, really gonna hey. do like this. Like, as well, like me too. <laughs> Pushed yourself to him again and kissed his mask where his lips would be and did something that shocked you both. Shocked both you and him. <laughs> he lifted his mask, sensing his strong jawline. And lips and kissed you back. Wow, no more mask. Feeling his lips against yours unlocked something absolutely primal in you. You couldn't help but buck your hips into his lightly. His <clears throat> twitched and he happily bucked back. <laughs> Can't say it. He opened his mouth, welcoming it. He what? opened his mouth, welcoming you to slither inside. As your tongues licked and lapped at each other's. <laughs> Mouths, Jason pinned you under him. Your legs spread to make a singular thigh. What? His right against your crotch. They worded that really fucking weird. He has one of his thighs in between hers. Why would you word it like that? Your legs spread to take a singular thigh of his right against your crotch. Okay, I guess it makes sense. He parted from the kiss, huffing and clearly worked up. He sighed. Can we? You cut him off. <clears throat> yes, please. <laughs> He ripped off his shirt. <laughs> I'm Superman. Mask still dissolved off his face on his face and what? <laughs> he ripped what? off his shirt. Mask still dissolved on his face and unbuckled his pants. He then moved to you, peeling off your sweater and shirt, then roughly pulling off your pants. He could barely wait and was getting aggravated at the amount of clothes you had both you both had to take off to begin making both. He finally kicked off his pants and leaned down to undo your bra. As he reached under you to grab the hooks, he picked, he picked, picked, and kissed at your neck. He picked. <laughs> like a monkey. <laughs> Earning a quiet moan from you. You could feel his almost purr against you. Pleased he could elicit those noises from you. Seeing your tatas for the first time, he placed his hands on them. <laughs> Softly kneeling at them and enjoying the view under him. He shimmied out of his boxers. Shimmy. He doesn't seem like a boxer kind of guy to me. <laughs> <laughs> what what what, what does he seem like? That. A naked in the woods kind of guy to me. You think there's anything under that? No wait. What is he wearing again? <laughs> is it a jumpsuit? A blue jumpsuit? Or is that Michael Myers? That's Michael Myers. Never mind. <laughs> Jason, I think, just kind of has like a lumberjack look, I think. I think. <laughs> I think. He shimmied out of his boxers, letting his free. <clears throat> it was massive. It was massive. <laughs> Way bigger than you had anticipated. You sat up and put your hands on his hips, cooing positive reinforcement. Cooing? To him. Yep. <laughs> cooing? <laughs> letting him know how big he was, how much you loved him, how handsome he was. He could barely stand it. He pushed you down once more and grabbed at the band of your underwear, pulling them off and kissing your thighs while discarding the garments on the floor. Jason, I need you. <laughs> <laughs> if this doesn't end up in murdering her, I'm gonna be upset. <laughs> I won't. <laughs> it just seems like a good MO for him for some reason. Hearing you mew under him desperate for him was the last straw. It's the last straw. He lined himself up to you feeling just how wet you were for him. And slowly began to push inside of you. I don't know if we should read this part. Screaming. Faster. Screaming. 
squeezing, you know, finishing, <laughs> and now they're scooting. <laughs> That would not that would not be good to put on YouTube. <laughs> and then he signs I love you so much. And she says, I love you too, Jason. The two of you spent the rest of the night cuddling together covered in the warm glow of the fireplace. The end. Alright. I rated like a three <laughs> out of ten. Oh. <laughs> what do you rate it? Uh, you're like, I wasn't prepared for this. <laughs> what is that not? I just did not enjoy that story very much. Freddy Krueger and Reader. Damn. <laughs> Damn. I Freddy Krueger, which is who I've been for Halloween. <laughs> so I had it with my hat. Damn. Damn. You've never felt so tired in your entire life. You've had a rough day. First, you stubbed your toe when you got out of bed this morning. Ow. Second, you only ate an apple and drank some milk for breakfast because you forgot to buy some groceries. Mm. Third, you were fired from your workplace because your boss mistook you with your coworker who made a big ass mistake. What and now, fuck? it's fucking raining on your way home. You don't have a car and forgot to take an umbrella with you. Could this day be even worse? The last part isn't too bad. <laughs> I wouldn't mind walking home in the rain. <laughs> yeah. Could this day be even worse? Could this? Get any worse. <laughs> you said while walking down the street there were a lot of puddles and surprise surprise a car just drove through one right next to you making you soaking wet. You sighed in frustration. Never <laughs> self, never ever say could this d those words in the same <laughs> sentence again. It's a death wish. You say to yourself right. <laughs> <laughs> You even put those words as your home wallpaper on your phone. When you eventually got home you walked upstairs and plopped down on your bed groaning all wet? I would take a shower. <laughs> you dramatically sighed a few more times before getting up and going to take a shower. You stayed like 30, 45 minutes in the warm water, refreshing and cleaning yourself <clears throat> with majestically smelling shampoos and other girl stuff. <laughs> other girl stuff. After you were done showering- Is this a guy a writer or something? I don't know, but there's like commas and stuff, so it's better than the other one. It's easier to read. After you were done showering, you dried yourself off, including your hair, and got dressed up with some comfortable clothes. You live alone, after all. Well, might as well start looking for new Get jobs. comfortable clothes with dick. Other people in the house? <laughs> well, might as well start looking for new jobs, dick. You harshly insulted your nod, not anymore boss, while opening your laptop. You started looking, and to be fair, you did find yourself interested in many of them. Babysitter? Eh, maybe. Chef? Well, I'm not too bad of a cook if I say so myself. Maid? I've seen enough anime to know where this is going. Yawn. You begin to softly close your eyes and drift off to dreamland. You open your eyes, looking around just to see that you're in a boiler room. Your eyes widen, only for you to close them again inside. You knew exactly where you were. You heard a faint laughter coming from above you, <laughs> and you looked up to see none but Freddy Krueger himself. Well, hey, baby, Freddy chuckled. Ugh, Freddy, what do you want? <laughs> I'm not in the mood for this. Let me have this night to myself. You blurred out. Ah, uh, why would I do that, sweet cheeks? Had a rough day? Oh, that reminds me of that cheesy pickup line. Did you sit on a pile of sugar? Because you've got a pretty sweet... Freddy, he said sternly, gritting your teeth. Okay, okay, just kidding. What happened, huh? I've heard you curse out you boss. I heard you curse out you your boss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, he's not my boss anymore, so... Have you ever told him that you know that he's a dick? Yeah, in my mind. <coughs> Freddy chuckled again. <coughs> what did that poor excuse of a human being say? You explained to him what happened to work at work today and the rest of the day. Freddy frowned. Don't worry, sweet cheeks, I got you. Freddy's gonna give that man one hell of a night. That would be a cool weapon to have. <laughs> you both giggled. <laughs> Thanks. Freddy's smile widened, waiting for something. You sighed. Sweetie, he laughed in victory. Well, sweet cheeks, gotta give that man what he deserves. I'll let you sleep peacefully tonight. Mm hmm. Thanks, hon. You kissed his burnt cheek. Ew. This dream would start. The dream world started to fade out, and just before everything went black, you heard. And don't forget what I said. What? 
you've got a sweet ass and everything went black. You woke up, it was around 12 to 1 a.m. It was Friday, so you have no work to do the next day. Work. Well, you don't because you don't have a job anymore. Well, you don't have to work it now at all until <laughs> you find another workplace. You lied back down and said, I know, thanks. The end. Five out of ten. I don't know, I keep forgetting to think about rating. Which one did you enjoy the most? I don't remember them. <laughs> Which one did you like the best? Yeah, happy Friday the 13th. Go do something spooky to yes. celebrate. <clears throat> and next week we're doing the death mute line challenge, making brownies. So don't forget to turn on notifications. Peace, love, and happiness. Remember to follow your dreams. See you guys next week. Bye. Tots.